Retro Gaming. Oh, maniac. Enjoy my channel and have fun. Hello and welcome Retro Gaming Maniacs. I am Tomaniac and I am back with a little special because this time I would like to show you how you can make your own sleeves for your floppy disks. Um, and they can look like um, this for example, where you can see the game title and uh, some screenshots of uh, the games that are on the disk and you are also these uh, known icons on the back side. Uh, this time but uh, with some Funny text, always protect, okay, that's clear. Just good software, <laughs> um, never bend, and so don't touch, don't burn, don't lick. <laughs> so you can make your own then, uh, because I have uh, lots of discs in my stock, so to say, that came without a sleeve. And now I have the option to make them by myself. And uh, I can show you a nice little handy tool for that. And therefore, I am switching over to the uh, window scre screen so that you can see it also here. And I will put the link to this video in the uh, description below. And um, you can find this on c64-tools.com. And uh, it was programmed by Frank Nigelman in uh, the last year. And there are also some other tools that might be uh, comfortable or uh, nice to use for some of you if you program thing, things, for example, or uh, uh, you can find um, uh, tools for coding, you can find um, sprite generators, for example, and you can save them in uh, uh, formats that um, are used by the C64. So if you uh, download your, your build sprite, you can um, select the file time, for example, uh, bin, cs, uh, v, uh, and json, <laughs> for example, uh, and other things. Um, yeah, you can discover this on your side, on this side for yourself. Uh, this time, uh, it's about this um, disk sleeve editor, and there's also another nice editor for uh, making disk labels. Um, I haven't tested this out yet because I don't have any uh, blank labels here to print on, but I will touch this uh, later. So, and what I would like to show you is the complex um, disk label editor, and uh, here you have different options. You can uh, choose if you just uh, want to like the... Ah, this was the level editor. I <laughs> I wanted to go into the disk sleeve editor. So, um, yeah. And you can give this one a name, for example. You can... Uh, this is the back side here. Um, you can uh, adjust if you, uh, what, uh, what should be seen on the sleeve later. You can show the disk name or you can... Uh, blend this out or you can uh, show image names that these are the names beyond the images so you can turn them on and uh, them on and off or sh just show the picture for example keep aspect ratio uh, i've uh, uh, um, let this uh, activated and show borders so you can do this with or without borders and yeah i like to do a little example um, of all of that and therefore um, you can um, you have several options you can add screenshots from a database that's in here if you, uh, for example you search for defender defender then uh, it shows you some on search yeah it shows you some images uh, where uh, Defender is in the name, Defenders of the Earth, Defender, Air Defender, and so on. Um, but um, it's not a big uh, collection at the moment. There are a lot more games out there. And for, exa for my example, um, I pick uh, some, let's say Defender, because I have this here. Let's pick this and then what else did he find here? Um, let's check this. 
was this also here on the database? Yes, it was. So I can choose this also. Um, but he didn't find too many here. For example, uh, I've also Jawbreaker on the disk. And... Ah, yeah, he, he finds it. Okay, so I can choose uh, which picture I like to have here. So if I only had Jawbreaker, uh, for example, then I would take this two and would only make this two on the sleeve. Um, this time I take this one. And uh, I... Does he also have Galaxians? Yeah, he also has Galaxians here. Um, and then you can press add and he puts this into uh, this uh, window here. And then um, um, you also can upload images. You can find them on the web, for example, Google search or so. And uh, can browse your, uh, your directory. And there, for example, ah, yes, uh, I can choose the other ones. For example, this four. And then he also uploads this in here. And uh, now uh, what I have uh, done, you can choose, I have nine images and then you can choose different styles. We have nine games here and you can choose, for example, this kind as a design so that you have these uh, in the windows. I can put them in here, for example. So first of all, this is, um, um, the first uh, place and it comes where uh, there where the one is then uh, alle neune would uh, uh, is on the second place and you can uh, it um, appears here but you can also move them around for example if the main game is daily thompson super test then you can put this in front and then the next what i had on my disc um, is uh, motormania oh i've forgotten <laughs> Ah, the, I can uh, take a look if he finds it here. Motor Mania. Yes, there he has it. Also a nice little game. And yeah, perhaps some of you recognize these pictures because I uh, had this disc in my first live stream here on my English channel. And uh, there I have tested this disc. So Motor Mania was second, then the third was Quicks, and so you can move them around. Fourth Jawbreaker, fifth Defender is okay. Then I had this Time Time Runner, and then I had Elections, then Stellar Wars, and then all nine. <laughs> Okay, and then you can see them already here in this live preview. And now you can choose uh, different designs, different styles. And um, with nine discs, you can choose um, between four different styles. So I, I can show you style number two is this one. I can also go to preview, then it shows a live preview of that. Yeah. Then you have this kind. Let's go over to style number three. Then it looks that way. So the pyramid other way around. And then you can choose another style here. Uh, for example, this. This is what I have chosen in the end. And uh, as you can see, you can do this with uh, um, different styles. Um, the more, uh, the less images you have in on this disc, the more styles you can choose from. So I keep this right there. And then I can enter a title here, for example, Super Games. And uh, then he redraws everything. Yeah, and there we have it. And um, that's then we are nearly done here. And then you can press create uh, generate sleeve, and uh, it makes a PDF file of that. So
so like this one and then you can print it out and it comes uh, this kind it looks like that here and uh, yeah i i didn't have a thicker paper there this is just for presentation so to say Ooh, here i am <laughs> and <laughs> <laughs> this mirroring with the camera or uh, camera uh, okay so then you have to you can uh, you can cut it out uh, here are the lines to help you and fold it and then use a, a, a stick a, a, a glue stick or something like that and can glue this together and then you have this fine nice little sleeve for your disc uh, yeah and then <laughs> The other thing what uh, is cool to uh, to make is uh, this um, so this label editor and I go to this uh, complex disk label editor because there you have more op options and then you can also enter the title for example cool games and then he has written this star there and then you have uh, several options for example um, the problem here is that you can't uh, insert too many game titles here so if you have lots of games on the disc then um, not all of the titles uh, will fit so for example um, i choose um, shawbreaker and then defender 2 for example defender 2 and for example galaxians and that should be it and then you can here choose the style cool games uh, uh, um, for example this is the title only uh, that comes on the label um, or you, you can you, later you can choose the position where it appears on this paper sheet um, just title for example or title with a c64 in the background oh i have to so i have to switch this again so okay uh, so back again um, it's everything started here with just the title and uh, i've renamed it to cool games as you can see here and then i've entered some game titles here uh, this can be interesting later on and yes as i mentioned not not all the titles uh, titles would uh, fit in um galaxians and what the uh, quicks for example and then games too for example this can be games on a side two of the disc but this disc has only good games on one side. L let's choose Stellar Wars, for example. Just to see um, how it looks like when you choose uh, game one and game two as a content on the label. Um, so, and now I uh, show you what you can do in the title. Just the title or um, the title with C64 in the background. Or, for example, uh, title with gray background and one content area so this is what i've inserted uh, in game one um, uh, this field here um, and then we have two content areas so that you have um, side one and side two for example why not next what we have here this one there you have the c64 here what i also like i must say uh, and all the titles from game one a side one for example um, this you can also choose with uh, two sides so that you have the games on side two for example title and one content area with c64 background looks this the kind and again with two areas so yeah this looks nice and if you have a color uh, printer then you can print this in color and this uh, now it's getting more interesting um, therefore i have to <laughs> add a screenshot for example let's add um, screenshots here again or yes or, and to make it easier so you can also use a 
games from the uh, database. Also here. So, and then he puts this on the label later on. And uh, then I can also... Um, because this is easier. Um, what did I have here? Defender, for example. Um, Galaxians I have. Drawbreaker. Yeah, you can uh, mark, uh, you can um, put three images on the label, maximum, um, as you will see soon. So this kind, title and one image, uh, then you can choose title and two images. So we have it here and here. we can also uh, switch between them. Then next we have title and three images. And you can uh, really move them around uh, as you like. No. And so my favorites here. <laughs> okay, for example, this kind. Um, and this is what I really like. And then you can print this on a label and uh, yeah, I can stick this on your disk. So then we have other options. C64 with uh, one title. This you can also have um, maximum with three titles. This is what I like to print out, for example. But uh, yeah, next thing is to go to the shop and buy uh, um, buy labels. C64 and one image. Also looks nice. Door breaker. Uh, you can switch them uh, around as you like. Um, yeah, and C64 and two images. This is the maximum here with the C64 on the left. Just image centered, the image only of the main game, for example, or if, uh, if there's only one. And uh, just image stretched. Okay, that, that, this doesn't look too good. Uh, stretch to entire font. Okay. Yeah, so these are the options you have. Okay, this looks funny. And uh, yeah, title and three, three images, for example. This doesn't look too bad. Or this one here. I, I guess I would choose this one. Okay, so, uh, and that's just, uh, a little um, showcasing of the uh, program, uh, what it can do. And uh, as I mentioned, you can find the link in the uh, description below so that you uh, in future can design your own labels and your own sleeves and can be creative with that. And I hope this little tool is also helpful uh, for you. For me, it uh, definitely is. And uh, I hope you had some fun watching this video and I thank you for that. And thank you for your likes and for your subscriptions. And then hopefully we meet us in the next video. So bye bye, take care, stay tuned. You're Tomaniac.